Hello America, this is Keith, your friendly neighborhood technician, coming back at you with some more very good information. We'll call these easy dryer hacks. Well, one of the things is air flows through the dryer. As air flows through the dryer, it allows the heat to, to move. Now, one thing we want to check is, do we have proper airflow in our dryer? Okay, so, you know, you can do this at home and you want to do this at home, okay? Now, what you want to do is set your time on your, on your dryer. Now you're gonna to have to hold, there's a button that tells the door is closed. You're gonna to have to hold that. Now mine, you can see there's a light. So now it thinks my door is closed, okay? So I wanna hit start, okay? Voila. Now, the way it works is air comes in from the back, goes down in here, and then out of, your, out of the unit, okay? What we wanna find out is, is my dryer the issue, or do I have a vent clock somewhere else? So what you can do is take a normal piece of paper, and this is where the suction is supposed to be on my dryer. That's what brings the air and heat it down. Now, if I have no airflow, the heat isn't going to be running properly. So what I want to do is I want to put a little piece of paper over it, okay? And see that? That won't hold it, okay? We'll try it again, just to, just to see. So I'm, it's on there, it's flat, let it go, and it does that, okay? I don't have airflow right now, okay? So what you want to do is, I've actually sabotaged this unit so I can show you this. Now, what you want to do is, everybody knows what this is. This is the tube that comes out of the back of your dryer that goes into your house. Well, I clogged that so I could actually stop the airflow. Now, your house may have a clog somewhere else. Now, when it's working correctly, okay, let's take out all the, the fun stuff I put in here, okay. Now, what you want to do is take this either off of the house or off of the back of your dryer. One of the two. I would recommend taking it off of the dryer because this can also have a tendency to get clogged. Oh, I know this one's not, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about that. So we're gonna do the same thing, okay? I'm gonna tell my dryer that my door's closed. Now be careful not to put your hand in here because this thing does turn, it can grab your finger and it would hurt when it hits. So now I've taken out, like I said, I manually obstructed that so I could actually show this to you people. Now you want to one either dis disconnect it from the back of your dryer or disconnect it from the wall, which is ever easier. But I would recommend taking it off the dryer so you can say, my dryer is either right or my dryer is either wrong. If nothing's connected to the dryer and that's the sheet still won't hold up there, you have a problem inside of your dryer, okay? Now, when it's working properly, okay, I will tell my door it's closed and I will hit start, okay? And now, when I put the piece of paper on there, if it's working properly, it's going to hold my piece of paper. That means my venting system in my dryer is working correctly. Okay, so to show you that it's actually something real and not fake, I'm going to stop it and the paper's going to fall. Okay, that's how you can tell if your dryer venting system is in my dryer or is in my house that has venting issues, which is causing my heater in my dryer not to heat correctly, which means my clothes are not drying properly. Thank you very much. Don't forget to tune to this channel. I'll have more good information for you next week. Have a good week.